हेलो स्टूडेंट्स जय हिंद वंदे मातरम वन सेकेंड वेलकम बैक टू योर क्लास रवि सर जी मैथ्स द इजियर एंड बेटर वे टू लर्न द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फ्रॉम स्टैंडर्ड नाइन टू ट्वेल्थ जे इमेंस एंड एडवांस लेवल ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स स्टूडेंट्स इन अ प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर वी हैव लर्न द क्वेरीज रिलेटेड टू प्लेइंग कार्ड्स मीन्स पैक ऑफ फिफ्टी टू कार्ड्स इफ यू आर रेंडमली पिकिंग अ कार्ड्स एंड वॉट विल बी द पॉसिबल फेसिस ऑफ द कार्ड्स Regarding that types of question, we have studied coins. Tossing of a coins means like one-time tossing of a coins, or two coins tossing time simultaneously, or three coins tossing simultaneously. So, what will be the possible outcomes? On the basis of the possible outcomes, we will practice few more questions. Okay, students, let us move over here. The first question states that. Two unbased coins are tossed simultaneously. Find the probability of getting two heads, one heads, one tail, at least one head, at most one head, and no heads. Students, first of all, we will find out all the possible outcomes if you are tossing a coin, two coin simultaneously. So, what will be the possible outcomes? All the possible outcomes, students, are known as sample space right so first of all we will find out all the possible outcomes if we are tossing two coins simultaneously okay students you are very well aware that a coin having two bases head and tail you are tossing two coins so head and tail now students getting the cartesian multiplications of these bases so head is to be multiplied by head and head is to be multiplied by tail so what will be the possible outcomes head into head 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 into tail head tail tail into head right tail head tail into tail 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 right students these are the possible outcomes when you are tossing two coins simultaneously so how many numbers of outcomes 1 2 3 4 so numbers of outcomes number of total outcomes n is equal to 4 right student now in this question the first part is what two heads if you are tossing two coins simultaneously what is the probability of getting two heads okay let us solve the first one consider this is event a1 getting two heads right getting two heads so students how many times you are getting two heads over here only one time so m favorable event will be 1 and total number of outcomes n is 4 so p of a1 is equal to m by n 1 by 4 similarly students the second question is what if you are tossing the coins then what will be the possibility of getting one head what will be the possibility of getting one head so writing a2 getting one head okay students from here you can see that in how many events you are getting one head one two here is you are getting head and tail here you you are getting tail and head means in these two events you are getting one time head so number of favorable event two and total number of outcomes four so p of a2 is equal to m by n 2 by 4 cancelled out so we are getting what 1 by 2 so the probability of getting one head is 1 by 2 right students okay moving to the question number 3 over here what does the question number 3 states one tail a3 getting one tail 
getting one tail. So how many times you are getting one tail? In this pair you are getting one tail. Here you are getting one tail. So the favorable event will be two, and total number of outcomes n is four. So P of a three is equal to m by n two by four. 1 by 2 so the probability of getting one tail if we are tossing two coins simultaneously is 1 by 2 okay question number 4 at least one head at least one head consider this is a4 at least one head right students what do you want to find out probability of getting at least one head at least one head means the head may be more than one but less at least one so in how many pairs you can see that at least one head it is okay if you are getting more than one head right students so in this pair you are getting one head in this pair you are getting one head and here you are getting two head because at least it will be okay if you are getting more than one head but it should not be less than one head so here is one head here is one head but here is two head because at least at least means it may be okay if you are getting more than one so your favorable event is 3 and total number of outcomes over here 4 so p of a4 is equal to m by n so 3 by 4 okay moving to the question number 5 what does the question number 5 states at most at most one head so consider a5 at most one head students at most one head means what the maximum number of head should be one it is okay if you are getting less than one head right at most one head means maximum number of head should be one it is okay if you are getting no head so students here you can see that at most one head this is first pair second pair and in this pair you are getting no head so total numbers of pairs will be 3 so total number of favorable event m is equal to 3 and total number of outcomes means sample space n is 4 so p of a5 is equal to m by n so 3 by 4 it means students you can conclude that probability of getting at most one head is 3 by 4 okay students in question number 6 no heads no head means head should be zero so there is only one event with no head so the answer will be 1 by 4 because this is your favorable event this is one time and total number of event is 4 so its probability of no head will be 1 by 4 you can do be, do by it yourself okay now moving to the question number 2 over here in this question you will have to practice of tossing three coins simultaneously students how many coins you will have to throw over uh, toss over here three coins okay so students you you know that a coin having head tail first coin having two bases head tail second coin having two bases head tail third coin also two bases head tail now students first of all getting the cartesian multiplication of these Uh, order pair of head and tail so head multiplied by head so what you are getting head head now head is to be multiplied by tail so head tail now this tail is to be multiplied by head tail head now tail is to be multiplied by this tail so tail tail and this is remaining order pair of head and tail now students again you will have to multiply this uh, uh, cartesian this is cartesian product generally known as now you will have to multiply all these pairs of head and tail with the uh, corresponding the basis of head and tail okay so students this pair of head tail is to be multiplied by head 
so finally the sample space will be what head head and head and again this head and head is to be multiplied by tail so head head tail okay students similarly this pair is to be multiplied by head so you are getting head tail head now head tail is to be multiplied by tail so head tail tail okay similarly this pair of head tail is to be multiplied by head so you are getting tail head and this is multiplied by tail so this is tail head is to be head over here tail head is to be multiplied by tail so tail head tail and finally this pair of tail is to be multiplied by this ordered pair of head and tail so tail tail head and tail 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 right students now here you can see that the numbers of favorable the total number of outcomes so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so n is equal to 8 8 is what total number of outcomes it means sample space of this experiment in this question the first one is what consider e1 all heads all getting all heads right student what is getting all heads so how many pairs having all heads it is only one time head 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 here you can see that head tail head tail head head tail 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 head head in all pair tail and combination of tail and head but in very first one the first event having all the time head so possible outcomes favorable outcome is what m m is equal to one time and total number of event is eight so p of e1 is equal to m by n 1 by 8 so students you can conclude that if three coin tossed simultaneously probability of getting all heads is 1 by 8 okay moving to the second question what does the second question states two heads right e2 getting two heads right students so you can write the pair over here one two one one two three these combinations having two heads so head head tail head tail head and tail head head so students here you can count the favorable events one two three which so m is equal to 3 and total number of events n is equal to 8 so p of e2 m by n so 3 by 8 so students you can conclude that probability of getting two heads if three coins are tossed simultaneously probability of getting two heads is 3 by 8 okay now moving to the question number 3 over here what does the question number 3 states consider this is e3 one head getting one head student getting one head here students you can see the pair of combination of head and tail in which event you are getting only one head so here you are getting only one head and here you are getting only one head and here you are getting only one head so favorable events are head tail 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 head tail 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 head so students number of total number of favorable events m is equal to 3 and total number of event is n is equal to 8 so p of e3 m by n 3 by 8 so finally you can conclude that if three coins tossed simultaneously 
getting probability of getting one head is three by eight. Okay. Now moving to the last question of today video lesson. At least two head. What? E four. Getting at least two head. Getting at least two head. Right, students. What you want to find out? The probability of getting two heads. So, students, first of all, getting at least. What is the meaning of at least? At least means minimum. It will be okay if you are getting more than two, right? At least two heads. It means two heads should be there in that event. If you are getting more than two heads, it will be okay. So, first of all. write down all the events that having at least two head so in this event two head so head head tail and here is head tail head here is tail head head in these events students you can see that there is two heads but at least two head it will be okay if you are getting more than two heads so this pair having three head so you can conclude this one triple time head so number of favorable events so m is equal to 4 n is equal to total number of events 8 so p of e4 m by n so 4 by 8 cancelling these things so finally we are getting what 1 by 2 okay students so you can conclude that if three coins are tossed simultaneously probability of getting at least two heads is 1 by 4 students here we are completing today video lesson i hope you have understood this video lesson for more video lesson of probability keep watching your channel ravi sir ji maths thank you thank you so much